With a gun like this, it's a lot easier to rapid fire. And on this old gun, we've been doing a lot of lever guns and a lot of bolt guns, a couple of single shot guns. It's been a while since we've done something semi-automatic. So here, we've got some Cold War Warsaw Pact diplomacy for you. Here we go. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we're going to be looking at a VZ-58 made out of the Czech Republic. This is a prime example of a Cold War firearm that is not an AK-47. And they started production or design of these right around 1955. It entered service in 1959 and they didn't cease production of the original VZ-58s until the 80s. So that's a real testament to the design and the reliability of this firearm. So World War II has ended, and people are reeling over the horrors of that. And the 50s are now happening, and it is now a period of Cold War that is starting to come. So NATO is created, and on the Soviet side of things, the Warsaw Pact is created. And one of the things about the Warsaw Pact was to basically have a common caliber that all of the countries of the Warsaw Pact would adopt. And in this case, it would be the 7.62 by 39 millimeter cartridge. The Russians had the AK-47 and other Kalashnikov variants of rifles, chambered in 762 by 39 And as they handed it to the Czech Republic, the Czech Republic requested that they make their own rifle in 762 by 39 They had seen success with their VZ-52, which is an earlier model gun that was chambered in 762 by 45 And they wanted to kind of keep that same kind of design that had been working for them for so long. No one really knows why Russia agreed, or the Soviet Union in this case, agreed to let them develop a rifle in 762 by 39 other than the Klajnikovs, but they obliged and they did it. So after a great few years of designing off of the VZ-52 format, they came up with this. And it is not in any way, shape, or form interchangeable with an AK-47, but the performance is there. And we're going to go out to the range right now and we're going to check it out for ourselves and see what we think. All right, had some fun rapid firing. Let's just see how well she shoots now. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, smoking a little bit. That tube gets hot when you rapid fire enough. This is a nice option, and if you uh, don't want to spend the money on a pre-van AK-47 in Massachusetts, this is still a decent amount of money, but it's a nice alternative to the AK. Uh, I was climbing a little bit, especially on rapid firing, but it's a really, really, really nice gun and fairly accurate when you're not going all over the place rapid firing. But it 762 by 39, even out of an AK, is going to kick a bit. This one kicks too, but it's comfortable, especially with the grip style that you've got here on this gun. The magazines, once you get used to it, are pretty easy to change out and lock back up. And not a lot about this gun changed right on up until it ceased production in the 80s. So I think that's a testament to the really superior design of the Czech Republic, especially during the Cold War under the Warsaw Pact. Now, the Slovak armies are still using the VZ-58s, um, but they are starting to eye the CZ Brens, and it's very possible that this rifle might go out of service altogether. Now, there weren't really a lot of full auto versions of this gun imported into the United States uh, before the Gun Control Acts of 1968 and then in the late 80s when the final nail in the coffin on machine guns essentially was placed. But um, CSA, Czech Small Arms, 
still makes the receivers for VZ-58s and imports semi-automatic copies of the guns into the United States. And this is a fine example of one of those semi-automatic carbine versions of the full auto gun. It's got the original uh, beaver barf, as we call it, wood furniture that you would have seen on an original VZ-58. There are some more tactical looking versions of the gun, but me being an old gun guru, this is the type of design I like here. And I'm really glad that one of these finally came in that I could check out. Now, unfortunately, this gun isn't for sale at all. It is being loaned to me. Thank you to my good friend and coworker, Alex, for having me uh, try this out and check it out. If you want to come on down to Cape Gunworks and let me uh, check out one of your own, or you want to come down and possibly order one of the new ones, I can certainly do that for you. And don't forget to go to capegunworks.com forward slash TOG to check out some of my merch and see some of my previous episodes. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around.